Hey guys, what's up? It's Dartron here for another mod showcase and today we've moved the modification platform into the Never for Never X, which is the mod we'll be reviewing today. Now, how we're going to start off is, to be honest, with the most interesting thing in my opinion, the thing that I'm sure most of you guys want to see first, which is the mobs. Now, first up we have the Glutton. Now, this, uh, this uh, funny looking thing here is the Glutton. Um, it's got a HP of 10, and it drops bones and leather. Uh, apparently what it does is, when it attacks you, it actually eats out of your inventory. So, it actually... Let me demonstrate, actually, is the easiest way of doing it. So, we're going to take some... Bread. Um, actually, let's get... I was killing stuff earlier. Don't ask. Um, we'll put some armor on first, so he doesn't kill us. Um, actually, no, you know what? We're not going to do any armor. So, you see that we've got bread in our inventory. So, let's just go to game mode zero. See, and you see he's actually eating the bread. Go away! Oh, God, this is not working out. This is not working out. What the hell? No! Where are you guys coming from? Anyway, on to the next one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, anyway, that's the glutton, as we've met. And we're going to move on to the next one, which is the Blazing Charger. Now, he looks like a bull, doesn't he? Um, he has HP of 16, and he drops cooked steak and leather. And apparently, I'm not going to demonstrate this, because we've already seen what happens when I do that. Um, what he'll do is, when he attacks, he charges at you, launching you into the air. And that actually makes you take fall damage on top of the regular damage. So, it the page for the mod actually recommends ranging these guys instead of doing melee, so use a bow and all that sort of stuff. Um, anyway, let's go on to the next one, because I'm not demonstrating you as cool as you look. I like how the fire effect... Um, did they get out? I think they got out. Um, anyway, there's one running around here. Um, this is a never spider. And they're pretty much like, like cave spiders, but basically they got an increase in the poison damage and a decrease in HP. They have a HP of 10, drops, string, and spider eyes. Um, and now... The god, you guys shut the hell up! Oh god, they're all coming in now! This was a mistake! You know what, I'm gonna go over here, because they can't get in here over here. Anyway, the next mob, and the final mob, is this, the Pig Man. Now, that we all were all familiar with Pigmen, and well, zombie Pigmen anyway, and I'm, Pigman's been done in quite a few mods, I believe, and in multiple different things. Now, apparently these don't naturally spawn, they have a HP of 20 and they drop pork chops. I'm just going to read straight off of the forum page here, because it kind of makes more sense in the way I would put it. Uh, so here we go. Pigmen are the only mob that does not spawn naturally within NeverX and the one that you would most likely want to meet. They are created by throwing potions of weakness on naturally sp uh, on naturally spawning zombie pigmen and giving them a golden carrot will start the conversion. Uh, start the conversion pro process into pigmen. Pigmen will attack any aggressive mob except creepers and are very useful for defending your house. So basically, this is a nice little helper. Like, you can get in here, he's not going to attack you or anything like that. But if I were to spawn... What can we spawn in here? Spawn a skeleton for him. Oh. You see, he actually attacks it. Very slowly, mind you, but he's attacking it. Go get him! See? There you go. And that's the mobs of this mod, and there's a lot more to cover, so we're just going to move straight on to the next section. And welcome back, and we're going to do the blocks now for this mod. Now, what we're going to start with here is Venomite, which is kind of like iron in the Never now. Well, with this mod anyway. And basically it's based around poison. The Anything that you make out of it has to do with poison as well, so if you were to make a sword, the sword would give poison damage, armor is immune to poison that's made from this ore, or this venomite, as it's called. And it's pretty common around the nether, apparently. Like, actually, if you actually look out here, you can probably see some... There was some. Yeah, see? There's some there. Why am I jumping? I can fly. Um, next up is... I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Ikorite, I believe? 
It's apparently quite common. It drops Icarite shards, which can be used to obtain water, extend potions, and there's fuel. So I believe it kind of works kind of like coal. Let's see if we can... We don't have a furnace. God damn it. <laughs> um, that can be easily fixed. Um, ba -ba -ba. Let's grab some food. I always forget where things go. God damn it. Um, let's grab some food just to check, see if it does work that way. Um, bum, bum. Yep, see, works just like... So basically this is the coal of Nevru as well. Uh, what we have next is Necromite, which is the equivalent of Diamond. Although it's a bit nicer than Diamond, apparently. Uh, because it's based around withering, so if you create a sword from it, the sword will have a withering effect. Armor is immune to withering, so it's kind of perfect for fighting, you know, the wither, the boss. So that's quite cool. We also have a magma block here, which basically, you know, like ice in Minecraft. Whenever you hit an ice block and stuff, it turns to water. Well, this is pretty much the same. When you mine it, it turns into lava. In so that's quite cool. And here we have never fawns. Now these are all over the place. There's actually some out here. It's like there's one there. I don't know if he's going to fall into that or not. Hopefully he will. But basically what they do is they just hurt mobs. Um, so we'll, let's place some around. See, there we go. See that hurt him? Um, what I'm going to do also is... God damn it. Um... We'll stand on here and I'm going to switch my game mode. See if it hurts me. Yes, it does. And... Oh! God damn it. Whoa! Stop fire, stop. This is what happens when I try to experiment with stuff. Um... Okay, so... Would be nice to make like little traps and all that sort of stuff. And then we have this, which is soul glass. Now, it's just like regular glass. Um, as you see, you can stand on it, and if you hit it, it's going to break and all that sort of stuff. But this is what's interesting with it. When you add a current through it, with you know, redstone, you can walk through it. So that would make some interesting doors for your base or home, whatever you want to call it. Um, whenever, you, But there is safety, I believe. So, like, I don't get hurt when I'm stuck in the middle. But when I walk out, again, you can't walk through. So that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much it for the blocks. Uh, I'm going to move on and show you some more stuff. And hey, welcome back. And now what I'm going to show you is Poison Pools. Um, I don't know what their exact name for it is because he just calls it water on the Minecraft forum post. But this is a Poison Pool. And basically what it is, it's, well, it's liquid poison. And you can try collecting it with a normal bucket, but as you can see, it just doesn't work. What you need is a Venomite bucket. And it's created the exact same way the buckets are created, but with Venomite ingots instead. And you just collect, and there you go. Is a You got a Venomite... There, yeah, sorry, a Poison Pool bucket. Now, let me see if I can actually... God damn it. Um, going to show you something else as well. Now, I don't believe that it can be stored in normal cauldrons, although we're going to find out. Why didn't I just do this before? Um, let's grab a cauldron. Uh, I don't know where it would be under, so we'll just search it. Cold... Nope, it's not there. Uh, would it be under here? I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, to create a crystal cauldron, what you're going to need is never quartz and you just place them like that, like you would a normal cauldron and place it down and store the venomite in it and venomite, I keep calling it venomite, I don't know why but it has a nice name, just call it venom shall we instead of poison, show the venom in there and there you go anyway to create a venomite bucket as I said you just do the exact same thing you would with a normal bucket and there you have it um, there is a couple more things I actually want to show you guys, um, and we'll move straight on to those. And we're coming close to the end of the mod now, so I just want to show you the final few things, and then we'll end the video. And the majority of this is crafting recipes. So this is the Necromite armor. As you can see, it's exactly the same as regular armor for the crafting recipes. The tools, and you'll notice that there is no hoe, 
because ha <laughs> ho. But there's no ho simply for the fact that nothing grows in the Never, so it'd be a po kind of pointless putting it in there. Uh, in here we have the Venomite stuff and the Venomite tools. Uh, in here we have Neverrack equipment, and again, there's no ho. There's no armor for this either, which is odd. But I presume it's carlite because these are the equivalent of wood. So that'd be why there's no armor. And apparently, you're sp you're supposed to be able to use soul sand instead of sand with gunpowder to create a never bomb, which is kind of like TNT. But for some reason, I couldn't get it to work at all. So I don't know whether that's just me or whether it's a glitch in the actual mod. Uh, please let me know if it's just me, but I will demonstrate them anyway. So we place that there and there is no time whatsoever to get away so you're gonna have to blow that up with um, redstone I believe what else is there there is one more thing I know I wanted to show you. oh yeah the glowstone torches now exact same way as regular torches but glowstone dust instead of coal one problem is you notice well there's two problems with this you notice that you only get one out of one bit of glowstone. And the second problem is you place it down and when you try and get rid of it, you don't get it back. So there's a disadvantage there. Another thing I couldn't figure out is this. Um, let me get rid of this stuff. Uh, I couldn't figure this out, which is enchanted soul sand. Um, can't, there's n doesn't say how you do it. Um, no idea, so if you want to leave that in the comments below if you know how to do it so other people can use that. That'd be excellent and really nice of you. And the final thing we have is soul glass panes. Now these work exactly the same way as the normal soul glass, but I have noticed one bit of a problem. Like, well, one thing you can see right through there for some reason, it's like x-ray, only on that side. And whenever we turn the power on, um, that happens. <laughs> so, um, maybe it's just the way I've got it set up. Maybe you guys can do it properly. But anyway, this was the Never X mod, and I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the best mods I've seen in a long time. It's for Forge 1.6.4 and I believe 1.6.2. Um, I'm using the 1.6.4 version, so that's the only one I can really guarantee. Um, the guy is constantly updating it, he's got loads of plans for like never furnaces and stuff like that, so if you have any constructive criticism, go check out the Minecraft forum page, it's in the description. So you just click on that and then you go tell him, hey, I think he needs this, why don't you do it, goddammit? And who knows, maybe he'll listen to you. Um, I personally believe that this mod deserves at least 100 likes, although that can be left up to you, whether you think it deserves it or not. But anyway, I've been Dartron, there's nothing else to talk about in this mod, so I'll catch you on the next video. Um, stay safe, and I shall see you next time. Bye guys!